going on guys today I'm going to do a review on my blade tech inside the belt carry holster and uh, I have a couple more of these I have one for my plate carrier here uh, which of course is not an inside the belt but it is a blade tech and I have one for a, a one of my larger pistols uh, which I find it to be too big. I think it's the uh, Smith & Wesson 9C, which is a, um, a fatter pistol than this one is. But at any rate, I find this one to be about as large as I would care to carry inside the belt. Uh, but at any rate, this has been a pretty good uh, carry holster, concealed carry holster, and I only have one or two complaints one is a complaint that went away after i wore it for a couple of weeks and that of course is the the high blade that comes up on this side and of course keeps the serrated part of your pistol here from digging into your side but this also rubs your side pretty good and once you quit being a sissy and your skin toughens up it uh, doesn't bother you anymore so don't ever be afraid to you know get out of your comfort zone for a while you'll get tougher but at any rate um, like I say that problem went away I got used to that uh, the other problem is is if you don't wear a belt which I don't wear a belt every day I do wear a belt a lot but I don't wear a belt every day and if you don't wear a belt then this clip is kind of large without a belt it's just right if you've got a belt and it hooks on real good you can see the hook there hooks onto your belt real good but uh, I uh, noticed that uh, if you don't wear a belt then that has the ability uh, to slide up past your uh, the double layers on your waist and it will uh, come out if you uh, fall to the ground or go to the ground on purpose or whatever the case may be uh, this whole setup will come out of your out of your pants so uh, matter of fact me and my kid was playing today my little boy and uh, we get together we like uh, you will get down on the line of scrimmage and uh, the center snaps the ball and both lines crash into one another well me and my little boy do something like that um, just in playing and I always let him push me down well when he pushed me down today and I went to the ground this uh, came out and slid across the kitchen floor so uh, and it was pushed all the way in and, and uh, but still it uh, this uh, hook will miss the double layers on your blue jeans and it'll come right out so if you're gonna wear this and you don't want it to come out I recommend wearing a belt uh, which is inconvenient if you're like me and don't want to wear a belt all the time but at any rate like I say those are the only complaints I have with it it's very lightweight uh, plastic and it does uh, fit the weapon well it hasn't left any marks or abrasions on my pistol I've had this pistol a while and it uh, uh, it hasn't scratched it up or any such thing as that so all in all it's pretty good just wear your belt and get used to uh, the blade rubbing you on the side there for a little bit and uh, I didn't like the idea of carrying inside the belt at first it, uh, a little bit uh, different than what I've been used to doing but at any rate uh, Smith & Wesson 9 shield is a very good weapon to carry concealed and uh, this blade tech is a very good uh, holster to carry it in so I recommend it all in all all right guys have a great day